All right, we're going to explore a new way to create our crystals using some approaches borrowed from functional programming. Functional programming is a different way of approaching writing JavaScript. It's a different way of thinking about how to uh, structure your code uh, to achieve the same results. Um, it does have some implications, um, but nothing bad. It's just, a, uh, like I said, it's different. Uh, this is a terrible explanation, and I'm going to let this guy do the rest of the explaining because he does a fantastic job of explaining why building things with classes can cause problems in your application. Although here it works just fine, there is, there's really, truly no reason for us to do what we're about to do because everything does work fine. But I want to take the opportunity to explore a different way of doing it when we have an application that's relatively simple. That way we can understand it by practicing and you can apply what you learn to other applications that you may be building. So before you go on, it is totally necessary to watch this eight and a half minute video um, on Fun 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 Functions channel on YouTube. This link will be in the description or you can just look at it up here and then copy it or search for it. Uh, it should pop right up. Uh, it's two years old, but um, Definitely, that does not matter. This is all just concept, super short and easy to understand. So watch that and come back. How would we actually begin to think about moving our, our code from a classical inheritance model to a composition model? Well, let's dig in. So where are we using classes? We're using them here. And all of this stuff is shared, right? across all of the objects. That's why it's all up in the constructor. And then each of these has its own constructor. So the pattern here, in other words, is everything shares some common stuff. And then each one of these customizes some of those qualities or adds its own. And then it renders based on all of this information that it has. So that's our pattern. We could say that this is an object this modifies that object by either overriding properties as in, uh, where do we do that? Not position, where's one? Num shapes. Okay, so here we set num shapes and here we're overriding it in simple lines. Or we're adding stuff to it, such as uh, shape size. Shape size does not exist here. We've added to this object. So again, the, the pattern here is we have a base object that is shared across all layers. Each layer modifies that object by overriding or adding to it. And that object is what is used to render, right? So it's using all of the things inside of that object to render our shape. So with that in mind, um, we can start to think about how we might relayer this. One way we might think about redoing this is just creating a base object uh, up here that everything kind of stems from and uh, using that to kick off all of our layers. So that's the strategy we're going to, Im Im what's the word I'm looking for? We're going to use, <laughs> I'm like Porky the pig over here. Let's get started. Let's try that in the next video.